race winning car owner, I should say, and crew chief, Jack Roush and Jimmy Finning. And uh, Jack, obviously, well, you're shivering a little bit, a little cold out there, huh? I'm not doing that for effect. <laughs> so much. Well, obviously, despite the cold rain, uh, you got to feel really good about tonight's race and uh, the first win of the season for your team. Yeah, it was a great night for Ralph Fenway and for all the guys in the shop. They worked hard all winter, and uh, they got the result from it tonight that they've deserved. Uh, it has been a very long winter for us. We made some changes, built some new cars over the winter, and uh, revised our strategies a little bit as far as the way we uh, way we do our engineering and the way we, uh, we that uh, manifests itself in what the race cars are. And uh, it's still we're still working with our process. Uh, I mean, this, uh, this thing is becoming so sophisticated and uh, expanding so much. Uh, you add so many people to do new things that hadn't been done before. It's a little hard to get all the job descriptions worked out. And, Jimmy, obviously a, a great run tonight, great calls in the pits. Uh, talk about the win tonight for your team. Well, it was, it was a good win. Uh, we really need that for uh, as hard as everybody has been working this winter. Uh, it paid off. Uh, <clears throat> Carl did an excellent job driving at the end, just watching his tires, managing his tires. You know, Goodyear did a good job with their tires here. Uh, once the track got rubbered in, we didn't have no trouble at all. So um, pretty, pretty happy with the win. Okay, we'll open up for questions down here in the media center. Any questions for uh, Jack or Jimmy? Okay, we'll start here first with Jenna, please. Jennifer, AP, Jimmy, what made you decide to stay out there? It, it, when, I guess it was 75-ish to go. Well, basically, we only had like 17 laps on our tires, and looking at the 50-lap run, we were running on the end of 50 laps. We were running the same lap times we started to run with, so, and the wear at that time wasn't a factor anymore, you know, once the track got rubbered in, so it was pretty easy that we knew that the speed was there and, uh, and the wear was going to be good, so we just uh, stayed out. Okay. Any other questions in the media center? Okay, we'll go back to Jenna, please. Jack, um, one, two with Carl and Ricky. And uh, Ricky, I, well, Carl and Victory Lane talked about how far they came from Saturday. And then Ford had four cars in the top five. So I guess if you could just talk about, you know, what a strong showing it was all around. Well, we're real happy with uh, the whole representation Ford was able to have tonight. Uh, you know, there were a lot of good cars that got crashed, a lot of good cars that got caught up in things that weren't their own fault. You know, you, you got to stand in line and just wait for the the, the uh, racing gods to smile on you or to frown on you to see what you've got. But tonight, uh, you know, the uh, we had, did have good fortune. We had nobody that got caught up in a wreck, and uh, we didn't break apart, and we didn't get involved in somebody else's wreck. So that that helped a lot. But Ford has deserved the uh, this kind of result uh, for their uh, for their effort. Uh, you know, they've uh, committed a lot of engineering resources to us. They give us a lot of support with cars and trucks and uh, for support vehicles and things, and uh, they, uh, they, uh, they, they, we had not been able to do as much for them as we needed to in the last six months, and I was glad that we could get Carl in the chase tonight. Look forward to getting Ricky uh, qualified for this, uh, sh the last 10 races, and, and uh, Greg as well. Okay, I have a question over here. Sorry. Good, Jim. Jim Noble, PRN and Sirius XM. Uh, Ricky was in here earlier and said uh, there was no doubt he would have put the bumper to Carl had he been able to catch him on the last lap as the car owner of both. Uh, how do you feel about that? Uh, you know, when it comes time to, to really uh, charge for the checkered flag, the guys, uh, there's, no ra there's no team orders, there's no rules. You know, uh, they, I expect them to race one another as, as they expect to be raced, not only with one another, but with everybody in the, in the, in the garage. Uh, you know, it, uh, I expect Ricky is uh, as fierce a competitor as there is out there, and if his car's got the speed in it and he can get to the car in front of him, particularly the short track, uh, he'd bump and run and take the prize if he could. I, I would be disappointed if he didn't uh, have that uh, in his mind. Would you have felt, Jimmy? It would be vice versa, too. Car would put the bumper to him. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's good racing, you know, it's good racing. You know short tracks at the end there, it's, you know, especially with the new format we got with the chase like this, you know, it's about winning nowadays. Okay, uh, Mike Embry. Mike Embry, USA Today. Uh, Jimmy, how does this change the rest of the year for you? Now that you got this one in your pocket, does it uh, make you go for more wins or make you kind of, you know, 
settle in comfortably, or how do you approach it? Well, it's about winning. That's the uh, way we build around Roush Fenway Race, and we, we go out to win, you know. So that's what we're striving for. We're going to go to California. You, uh, I think our mile and a half track, we're still working on that to get the performance better. And so when we go out to California, we're going to go shooting after that win. Nothing's going to change our philosophy. Okay, back to Jenna, please. Jimmy, what did you think of that um, last caution? <laughs> Yeah, no, no, I don't even know. I guess he get uh, shorts, wiring shorted out or something. I don't know. Did you think that's what it was, or you? I no, didn't you know. Had no idea. Well, I seen the lights come on, and I didn't see the flagman didn't even know the lights come on, so I knew something was wrong. It just wasn't right what happened, you know. So, from my understanding, something just shorted out, and they came on, or a couple of them came on. So, but uh, at the end, you know, the rain came out, and NASCAR made a great decision, yellow and checker, and that was it. So. Okay. Up here to Bob, please. Um, Bob Piper, Sporting News for both Jack and Jimmy. I mean, were you worried when that caution came out that w this one was going to slip by, or did you have confidence that he had been the best car for the last uh, section of the race and he'd be okay on the restart? Well, track position is really important here, and if, if you're up front with a lap or two to go at Bristol and you don't get involved in a wreck or you don't spin your tires too hard, it, it should be okay. I. Uh, the, the, I had a picture in my mind's eye of th three or four of those Fords winding up in a hairball and uh, letting uh, one of the Toyota or Chevrolets behind uh, come through for the win. And so I, I had that bit of horror, but that was, uh, that was just anxiety, an old man's anxiety. <laughs> okay. Any other questions for Jack or Jim? Okay, up here to Dustin, please. Dustin Long, MRN.com. Jack, can you just talk, you mentioned earlier, but you talked about some of the changes or things that you guys have kind of done to try to reformulate things, and how do you feel like that's gone based on uh, so far this season? Well, you know, every winter we've got to look at the jobs that we've been doing uh, technically and, and think about uh, how we can do better and, of course, look around at our contemporaries and see how they're doing uh, how they're doing their programs as well. And we decided we needed to add a couple of people to do some more researchy kind of engineering things. We need to reassign uh, and redefine uh, the job descriptions of some of the people we had on staff. We took uh, an evaluation, took a stock of who we had, the talent and the experience and all, and decided that we, we had uh, – had people with the right stuff that were were motivated and committed. So we stayed uh, the course with uh, the folks that we had, even though we didn't win a championship last year, we stayed the course. We ad augmented or uh, added to uh, the, uh, the, the, the the staffing level and uh, were able to do some things uh, that I wouldn't care to talk about that we weren't able to do last year based on the uh, added resources that we'd, uh, we've we've applied. And Ford's given us more resources as well. You know, they've, uh, they've expanded their engineering involvement uh, one more notch and given us some more. And, of course, the, the, thi the thing that it comes down to is, is it always has with people uh, in, in stock car racing is you, you can have talented people, but if you don't work on the right things, you won't get the results you're looking for from their effort. And uh, we've had to think not only about the people and, uh, and, and uh, the, the programs we had going on, but whether we were missing something by, uh, by not focusing on some of the other things. And, of course, NASCAR, with their change in the uh, ride height uh, uh, rules and inspection process, you know, opened that up to, uh, to a, a lot of more additional considerations for things you could do with a car that you couldn't do last year where they had to go back to inspection ride heights after the race. Okay. Any last question for Jack or Jimmy? Okay. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Congratulations on your win and uh, getting into the chase. Well, we sure enjoy coming to Bristol, and uh, the race fans are always exciting to be around, and they, uh, they, 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 uh, they were tough tonight to stick with us through the ring. <laughs>